There are several very predictable patterns in nature, like the pattern of day and night, the pattern of moon phases that we see, and the pattern of seasons. All of these patterns repeat themselves in the same way, allowing us to predict what will come next. Many of the patterns we see in nature are affected by the motion of objects in the Sun-Earth-Moon system. The rotation of the Earth, the revolution of the Moon around the Earth, and the revolution of the Earth around the Sun all cause changes in nature that happen in a predictable pattern. The rotation of the Earth causes the cycle of day and night. Half of the Earth is always lit up by the Sun. And as the Earth rotates, different parts of the Earth rotate into the sunlight and experience day, and then rotate out of the sunlight and experience night. The rotation of the Earth also causes the apparent motion of the Sun. Each day the Sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west, but the Sun isn't really moving across the sky. The Sun appears to move across the sky because the Earth is rotating. And as light from the sun strikes objects from different angles, we see the appearance of shadows change. But again, the changing appearance of shadows is caused by the rotation of the earth, and shadows change throughout the day in a very predictable pattern. Shadows are longest at the very beginning and the very end of the day, and they are shortest around noon. And shadows appear on opposite sides of an object in the morning and in the afternoon. We can use a graph to show how the length of shadows changes throughout the day. Remember that shadows are longest at the very beginning and very end of the day, and they are shortest at noon. The shadows change gradually throughout the day in a very predictable pattern. It takes 24 hours, or one day, for the Earth to complete each rotation. This is why all of these patterns, the cycle of day and night, the apparent motion of the sun, and the changing appearance of shadows, are repeated each day. The moon revolves around the earth, and this also causes certain patterns in nature to appear. You can see on the left that half of the moon is always lit up by the sun, but because the moon is revolving around the earth, we see the moon from a different angle each night. You can see on the right how the appearance of the moon from Earth changes. Because we can only see part of the moon that is being lit up by the sun each day, it almost appears to change shape. We call these different ways the moon can look the phases of the moon. The moon goes through different phases because it is revolving around the Earth. As the moon orbits the Earth, we see it from a different angle each night and that causes its appearance to change. This bar graph shows how the amount of moon that we can see lit up by the sun changes in a very predictable way. When none of the moon is visible, it's called a new moon, and then each night more and more of the moon becomes visible until eventually the entire moon looks lit up, and we call that a full moon and then less and less of the moon becomes visible each night until the pattern starts over. And you can see that at the beginning of the next month, we would expect to see the next new moon. It takes about 30 days or about one month for the moon to revolve around the Earth. This is why the moon phases repeat each month. We normally see one new moon and one full moon in a month. The word month actually comes from the word moon. But we say it takes about one month for the moon to revolve around the Earth because some months have 31 days or even 28. So it's not exactly a month for the moon to revolve around the Earth because not all the months have the same number of days. The Earth has seasons because the Earth is tilted on its axis, and you can see that in the diagram. So the Earth isn't spinning straight up and down, it's tilted. The part of the Earth we live on goes from being tilted toward the sun to away from the sun and back. This change in whether we are tilted toward or away from the sun causes the seasons to change, 
as the earth revolves around the sun. When the part of the earth that we live on is tilted toward the sun, we experience summer. And when it's tilted away from the sun, we experience winter. And when the earth is not tilted directly toward or away from the sun, the seasons are milder and we experience fall and spring. It takes 365 days or one year for the earth to revolve around the sun. During that time, the earth goes from being tilted away from the sun to towards the sun and back causing us to experience winter, spring, summer, and fall as the earth revolves around the sun. This is why the seasons repeat each year. Now it's very important that you remember that seasons are caused by the tilt of the earth and not our distance from the sun. The United States is above the equator in the northern hemisphere, and when this part of the earth is tilted away from the sun, we experience winter. But notice that the southern hemisphere below the equator is tilted toward the sun. So countries like Argentina would be experiencing summer. When it is winter in the United States, it is summer in Argentina. Every part of the world actually experiences the same pattern of seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. But they happen at opposite times of the year in the northern and southern hemisphere. This shows that seasons are caused by the tilt of the earth and not how far we are from the sun. I hope this video has helped you understand patterns in nature a little better. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.